5G Wireless is a Horizon 2020 innovative training network where 10 research institutes are jointly training a number of researchers at the doctoral level. And they are all working in the topic area of 5G, which is the next generation wireless networks. These networks will be deployed in a few years from now and evolve over the next decade. Each of the students have their individual research project that they're going to talk about in this video. And these topic areas are such as channel simulations, device-to-device -device communications, massive MIMO, ultra-dense networks, radio resource management, cell-free massive MIMO, energy-efficient communication, antenna design, and channel modeling. So waves from the base station, which is the towers on top of buildings, travel to your devices through something that we call a channel. Uh, the channel is everything that is between this base station and your device. And the wave actually travels by bouncing off different uh, objects in, inside the channel, uh, objects like buildings, trees, uh, cars on the street. And it can not just bounce off these objects, but also penetrate or go through these objects and also bend around these objects. And my work involves uh, to create a virtual environment for these uh, channels uh, because there are different technologies for 5G, like massive MIMO and millimeter waves, which look at these channels differently. And I work with these different technologies to make sure that the channel for these technologies is available in a virtual environment. Five G wireless is not only about creating the new generation of cellular networks. It's about our world and how it is connected together. My work in five G is researching ways in order to connect the small things that make up our lives as smart as possible and as battery conscious as possible. Imagine that your car can make sure that you have your warm apartment ready when you're back and that your shower can make sure that your coffee is ready when you're done. Device-to-device -device communication is not just a dream, and it will be possible within 5G. Yeah, I'm working on smart protocols for future 5G networks, and my research is basically on device-to-device -device communication underlying massive MIMO network. And device-to-device -device communication has benefit of short, uh, direct communication between devices without going through base station. So we get lower power consumption, higher data rate, and longer battery life with device-to-device -device communication and with massive MIMO. Basically, I'm looking to do interference cancellation of device-to-device -device connection. And combining these two technologies bring huge enhancement in the spe spectral efficiency of the network. My work revolves around the envisaged ultra-dense networks, which are expected to comprise more access points than even users. In this setup, the power disparity of those access points provides an additional degree of freedom, which can be exploited by the concept of downlink, uplink, decoupling to provide optimal connectivity. So in this setup, a user can download content through one access point and upload its content to a different access point. This can provide substantial capacity and coverage gains. And what we do is provide mathematical models for this network that can be exploited by network operators to provide improved quality of service. The goal of my research is to study the performance of uh, ultra-dense cellular network since there are more and more base stations deployed and to be deployed in the cities. So it's not uh, practical and sufficient enough to evaluate its performance in a numerical way. So that's why we introduced the, uh, we use the mathematical tools or to be more specific, stochastical geometry to evaluate its performance. It can also help to uh, design and deploy the base stations in future. Um, nowadays, more and more base stations are deployed to satisfy the exponential growth of mobile phones. And my research topic is to design, modeling, and evaluate performance of this kind of ultra dense cellular network by using mathematical tool called topographic geometry. In addition, to save power consumption or to increase energy efficiency, my research topic is also take into account the uh, 
energy harvesting at mobile terminal sites and using renewable resources like solar power and or wind power at the base station site. My focus is at the access network. I'm uh, studying the traffic parameters of an access, real access network 4G in Greece. Uh, the traffic parameters I'm interested for is the data rate, uh, the data volume, and the number of users that are connected to, to the network. Uh, these parameters are important for me for uh, load balancing and offload modeling. And the gains of these procedures are better internet, better internet connectivity, a much faster internet, many more users connected at the same time, and low latency at our network. I'm working with um, massive memory resource management with uh, hardware constraints uh, different from conventional MIMO system, uh, which only have up to eight antennas. Massive MIMO can have uh, and can encrypt with hundreds or even with thousands of antennas. Uh, therefore, we try to investigate uh, uh, how the effect of uh, resource uh, management effect to massive MIMO system. Uh, I have done two tasks so far. The first task is focused on if uh, advanced collaboration amongst base stations have uh, any uh, positive effect on multi-cell massive MIMO system. The second, the second task focus on pilot design and power control in uplink multi-cell massive MIMO system. My research topic is about a technology called cell-free massive MIMO, uh, having the following uh, key aspects. The number of base station antennas is larger to the number of the uh, users to serve. And uh, in cell-free massive MIMO, all the antennas serve simultaneously all the users in the network. In um, uh, cell-free massive MIMO, um, the antennas transmit using a technology called the beamforming, um, which consists on transmitting very directive signal to um, the desired uh, users. And uh, in cell-free massive MIMO, uh, all the antennas are geographically distributed and uh, all the antennas are connected to a central process unit uh, um, by through a um, uh, frontal network. And uh, my um, research work is about designing and uh, uh, analyzing such a system also to evaluate its performance and uh, uh, improve the quality of services uh, that um, we provide to the users. So I am working on new methods to send information and the idea is uh, sending more information and downloading more information but at the same time uh, using less power. So imagine that uh, you download a big amount of movies to your laptop or your phone in a very short time but in the meantime your battery will last longer, will not consume that much energy as now. My work focuses on three aspects, massive MIMO, single RF, and millimeter wave. In massive MIMO, uh, we use antennas which are large in number so that the data rates are increased, and I design antennas for this purpose. And in millimeter wave, we focus the beams in narrow beams so that the data rate is increasing because of that due to high gains. And I design antennas in millimeter wave. And for single RF, we try to minimize the number of RF chains so that we have minimized cost. What I do is I study how the signal propagates, how it travels through space from the transmitters to the cell towers. And then I consider uh, different forms of transmission, reflections, bounces, and so on. Let's say I study the echoes of the signal and how they relate to each other. So then the, in the end, we can use this information to better design and assess new communication systems. Uh, my research topic is about uh, minimum channel modeling. Uh, this can be explained like uh, if we uh, use a mobile phone to transmit data from one person to another person, then uh, at a very high frequency, then how the 
objects around us, like the building, the cars, the human beings, affect the transmission. It's my focus of the research. So in the end, we can use a model to describe all this effect.